guys, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography and Actions. I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how you can use the black and white actions that are in the Creative Heart set to create colored images. Um, a lot of the black and whites have built-in features that you're going to need for editing a colored image, um, such as contrast boosts, lightening and darkening the photo, sometimes sharpening even. And that's exactly what I've done on this picture. So the beginning uh, straight out of camera image looked like this, which is just kind of a nicely exposed, simple picture. And using just the timeless black and white action and then smoothing just a little bit with some flawless face, this is what we've come to. So it's easy to get a nice um, colored image just using these black and whites. So I'll show you the process. Okay, starting on the unedited picture, I'm going to play Timeless from the black and white set. And that's gonna leave us with a black and white photo. And we're just gonna open that action group up. And a couple things we wanna do is, there's always a desaturation layer in the black and whites and we wanna turn that off. And this one's called Timeless Black and White, so we're going to turn the eyeball of that off. And right there, we get a color image. So if we turn this eyeball for the whole Timeless Action off, you can see right there, it's already boosted the image, um, brightened things up a little bit, given it some contrast, and you could be done just right there. Uh, but I'm going to go a couple steps further to show you how, can you, you how you can make it a little bit richer. So there's a layer in here called Rich Drama, and it's turned off by default. I'm going to turn that on. And that definitely boosts the colors and gives it a little bit of softness as well. So if there's any place in the picture, such as the eyes or maybe the cheeks, that I want to remove this from, I'm just going to pick the layer mask. And it's a white revealing layer mask, so I'll grab a black brush and maybe like a 30% opacity brush to start to remove this rich drama off of the eyes. And I'll just paint that right over the eyes. That removes any of the uh, softness that that layer brought in. And the next thing I wanna do is um, darken up the edges just even a little bit more. So there's a layer called darken in here. It's turned off by default. I'm gonna go ahead and click the eyeball on. And you can see as I click it on and off, it makes the blues and the shirt and the background really, really rich but I don't really like how dark it's made his face. So I'm going to pick the layer mask again, grab my black brush, and just begin to remove this darken off of the skin and a little bit off of this hair where it's gotten a little, little too much. And I'm using again a 30, I guess I have a 50% opacity brush and I'm just building up my brush stroke. So eventually I'll probably take 100% of this darken off of the left side. And then I might take my brush and make it white and bring it back in over here on the right just so it gets a little bit more evened out with the light. Um, so again, let's click this timeless on and off. And just using the layers inside a black and white action, we've created a really nice color image. Um, there's also brighten up layer in here that you could certainly brighten areas of the picture just as I darkened it. Um, there's also a section in here called the drama mid lift, I can turn that off and we're going to get even more drama into the picture if you want to have things deeper and darker still. So I'm going to close down this action grouping so I can play another action right on top of it. In this case, um, I would do flawless face just to smooth out his skin. I'm going to skip that this time just for the sake of um, doing a quicker video. And I'm going to just play a tone over the top of this and I haven't practiced this yet so I'm gonna assume that I'm going to like brown sugar over the top and I do like the richness that it gives the shirt and the blue I found that brown sugar really plays nicely with blues and greens so I'm gonna keep that brown sugar and I'm just gonna pick the layer mask here get a black brush and remove some of this brown sugar off of the places like his hair and his skin and basically leave it for his shirt and the background. So we'll click that on and off. You can see what a nice little change that makes, just even a little bit more rich. And the last thing I'm do, gonna do is just give it a little bit of sharpening. So I'll go up into my uh, heart and soul set 
and I think the action that I'll play for sharpening will be um, sparkle. And so this one plays with a black layer mask on it, so it's telling you that you need to paint this sparkle in where you want it into the picture. So black layer mask, I need a white brush, and I'm going to pick a low opacity, like 20% opacity brush. And I'm just going to give his eyes just a little bit of uh, sharpening because the eyes were a little bit soft. I'm not trying to create freaky alien eyes and make them overly sharpened and, and insane, but um, you know I want to have just a little bit of uh, clarity there that wasn't there in the original picture. If you want a little sharpening on hair, you could certainly do that too. So in a couple easy steps, just using timeless, turning off the black and white and tweaking the inside layers, a little toning, didn't have to do it, but you know, play with the tones that you want to uh, change up the, the coloring of your pictures with and a little sharpening and we're done. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Uh, remember you can go into any of the black and white actions and turn off the desaturation layers and do the same sort of thing. There'll be different layers in each one so you just kind of have to click through, turn eyeballs on and off to kind of get an idea of what the different layers are doing for you. Use the layer masks to your advantage, paint effects in and out as necessary and you're good to go. Thanks for watching and have a great day.